Senator Marco Rubio represents the state of Florida, now the most popular state in the country, we notice. He joins us tonight after having watched all of this. Again to you, Senator. By the way, thank you for coming. Oh, thanks what do you for make having of it? Me. Terrible. What do you make it's, of it? It's one of yeah. the, well, I think it's one of the saddest days in our, in our modern history, probably in our history. I think it uh, doesn't, I think they're high-fiving in Beijing. And the Chinese look at this and, and are very happy about it. It kind of bolsters their claim that we're falling apart and they're, they're the country of the future. I, um, I think it's inexcusable, completely 100% excusable. I don't care what the motivations are. And obviously, you know, people are going to get arrested. We're going to learn more about who was there and what this was all about. And I think it'll, it'll be interesting to see sort of the mix of people that were there and so forth. Uh, I think it's been tragic. And I want to say something. I want to thank the Capitol Police officers. We know a lot of these people personally. We walk by them every single day who had to go out there and do this. And we're really um, undermanned for, you know, overwhelmed by this at one point in time. But, um, but you know, and so none of it is an excuse. Now, I do think that one of the challenges we have is we have a serious crisis of confidence in this country. There is now literally no individual or institution in this country right. that can speak definitively about anything. And, I, and, and that's not an excuse for any of this, but it explains some of the things that create an environment that lead to this all across the board. And the media is shocked, you know, that, that they, they have zero credibility. They're viewed largely as biased. And then you have the censoring of, of news stories before an election uh, by the social media companies. And, and so the, and then you have these questions that in normal times people would look at and be able to work through. But in that environment of lack of confidence really sparks up. And, and, and I think those things need to be answered because elections, democracy doesn't just depend on having elections and depends on people's confidence in those elections right. and their willingness to abide by those results. They're interrelated. I don't know why the Senate can't do Watergate style, Titanic style hearings. Uh, we could take testimony, subpoena records. It wouldn't change the outcome of this race, but it would give people the clarity of the answer. And by the way, the changes that we need to make when I was in Florida in the legislature, I served on a task force after 2000 that made a bunch of changes to the mechanics of our elections. And um, and I think we could do that for the country. I wonder I, I wondered all day what Republicans in the Senate made of this. So people came to your place of work and I'm not attacking you personally. I am really despised by an awful lot of people. And every once in a while, I think to myself, they have good reason to despise me. Maybe I can communicate differently. I mean, it, it does. It should evoke some soul searching in the person who's despised a little bit. And I wonder if Republican senators are thinking to themselves tonight, now, I hate the vandalism, I hate the violence, I hate all this crap. On the other hand, a lot of my voters really hate me. Maybe I should change the way I behave. Do you think anyone's thinking that? Well, I, th I certainly think there's two things that have to happen. First, we have to firmly say that this stuff's not acceptable. It just can't happen. I mean, it, well, we, I, I couldn't it, agree we, more. We look, like, we look like the third world. I mean, honestly, yeah. we look like the third. I mean, this is stuff that you see in another country. We've got tin pot dictators out there lecturing us and mocking us, you know, in their Twitter feeds and online. So that stuff can't happen. The second thing I would make is at some point, everyone's got to step back here and realize that this has been brewing and building for a while, and it's all across right. the board. And, and, and there are real factors out there that are contributing not just to an erosion of confidence and trust in America, but some of the rhetoric. You made a point, and I caught the tail end of it, and you're absolutely right. There is no such thing as a country in which you know, half of us are very happy and the other half is very unhappy. It just it right. can't, ha it can't work. We're, none of us right. is going anywhere. So we're going to have to figure out a way to coexist. That's always been the challenge in America, a country that covers this vast continent, uh, such so diverse. And that's what our system is about. And that's what law and order is about, is allowing us to have those disputes without violence, but through passionate debate. We are in it together, whether we want to be or not. A lot of us don't want to be, but, you know, it's kind of not up to us. So I agree with that. Well, Senator, great to see you. Uh, thank you.